Hello folks. Today I'm not necessarily in a town or a place, but I'm on the New York State border with Pennsylvania. So just a couple miles this way, it's a whole nother state. As you can see, New York State likes to flex on other states by putting a massive car at their welcome center. So this might be just a common thing in America. It might be uncommon in other countries, but each state has its own sort of identity. And when you cross into another state, there's trucks and cars everywhere. But when you cross into another state, you're greeted with different rest stops and welcome centers filled with different mini attractions. So in these rest stops, You'll find different places, maybe a restaurant, maybe different amenities for travel. They have maps, brochures, because many people are just stopping by for a few minutes and they need to know how to get to their next place. So this is the place to be. Now, of course, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of these welcome centers or rest stops across the country along state borders or near different cities. So I thought it would be fun. A few miles away is the PA border, Pennsylvania, and there's naturally gonna be a rest stop there. So I thought it would be a fun idea to give a New York rest stop and a Pennsylvania rest stop a good comparison. Keep in mind though that some rest stops vary from one another in terms of size and quality. Some welcome centers and rest stops, they're gonna be a little shack with nothing more than a vending machine or something. Other rest stops, they're gonna be this magnificent building with all these different attractions and things. So it really depends on how lucky you get when you stop by. So clearly, vending machines all around. Oh, and you have your papers, travel pamphlets, brochures. So I am right here. That's where we're going to soon. Sometimes people travel just for the purpose of traveling and they don't know what to do. They don't know what's around. So there's this. They find all these places, hotels, accommodations, restaurants, travel places, attractions, all of that type of stuff. So clearly, that New York Southern Tier Welcome Center had a lot to offer. You know, it had the obligatory water fountains, bathrooms, seats, benches, but it also had a lot of things like a restaurant. 
let's see what Pennsylvania has to offer. This is gonna be our second state, so I'm excited. This is a historic event in the history of the coverage project. We've just visited our second state in the US, Pennsylvania. So I'm sure you're all wondering what makes a Pennsylvania rest up welcome center different than one in New York. Let's figure that out. Well, there you have it. Um, personally, in my opinion, I found the PA rest stop to be not as grand, not as spectacular as the New York one. There was no restaurant, there was no food court area. And I think that's a shame because, you know, when you want to attract tourists and stuff, give them a place to eat, you know, that type of thing. There was only just vending machines, there were only just, you know, the general stuff that you'd get for a two minute park and then get back on the road type of thing. However, I did like, I did appreciate how there were so many brochures and pamphlets describing different tourist attractions, different places to see in Pennsylvania. You know, when you're on the road, you don't know where to go, where the next place to eat, where the next place to do something is. It's nice to have a big array of all these different different brochures, pamphlets, all that. To be fair to Pennsylvania though, I will cut it some slack. The coverage project has only seen the very northern tip of Pennsylvania. There is so much more to see in the state. And if the brochures and pamphlets at the rest stop are telling me anything, it's telling me that there's so much more to explore and to uncover and just to see the beauty of it. At the end of the day though, don't take my word or my opinion for fact. Make your own opinion, make your own judgment. Do you think the New York Welcome Centers are better than the PA ones? Do you think Pennsylvania is better than NY? It's up to you. In fact, come to both New York and Pennsylvania. Make the judgment yourself based on your own personal experiences because I can only imagine these two states have wonders to explore, many things to discover, and just so far, I've only been able to explore a tiny fraction of New York. And Pennsylvania, it's a whole new state to uncover, so 
don't just go to New York City, don't just go to Philadelphia, don't just go to those major cities. These two states are huge and they have both natural beauty and man-made beauty. So take a look for yourself, visit New York, visit Pennsylvania. The world is waiting for you. More travels to come, I will see you at the next location.